Hey, what's up, YouTube? Comic Freak for Life here, back in my dorm. And this is the first actual, like, video of me doing a video in a while. Sorry about that. I just have been doing work and stuff, as you guys have known, I guess, if you've been watching my videos. But today, I'm actually going to do a real video. So um, today, this video is going to be called uh, Decks with Potential number two. Uh, sea Lancer Frogs, and I have my uh, Lancer Frog deck right here. Um, I think I'll do another deck profile of that maybe after this video, probably maybe today. But uh, I'm going to talk about the deck kind of and what its plays are and how it has potential. Like, what about it gives it that feeling that it could top, it is a viable deck, it can compete in the meta. So. First off, we have the main card of the deck, Sea Lancer. It is a level 5 monster. Um, I can just read the effect. You can target any number of your banished fish, fish sea serpent, and aquatype monsters. Equip them to this card. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. If this face up card on the field would be destroyed, you can destroy one of those cards instead. This card gains 1000 attack while equipped with a monster or monsters by this effect. Its original attack is 1300, so when it has a uh, frog or whatever equipped, aqua monster, or whatever it is, uh, either fish, sea serpent, or aqua, it gains 1000 attack. Just no matter how many it has equipped, so long as it has equipped, uh, it has 1000 attack. And if it would be destroyed, you can destroy one of those instead. Um, so this is mainly a combo oriented deck. You run uh, three. Uh, dupe frogs. See, I was lucky enough to get those in French. You can't read that. Grenouille Mystique or something. Grenouille Mystique or something like that. Um, and then what else we got? We got Swap Frog, but in French it's Grenouille Demon. So it's actually Demon Frog translated, but in English it's Swap Frog, which is actually kind of cool. You can see the horns. It's in French. Um, so you use, like I said, Dupe Frog, and let's see, what else do we got? Let me find it. Uh, you run Treeborn Frog, because you run Monarchs and stuff, Tribute Monsters, and uh, Ronin Toten. Ronin Toten is Crapud Samurai or something like that. And then the last card we run is Poison Draw Frog. So, well, you pretty much the main combo e ish of the deck is you use Swap Frog to get as many frogs in your graveyard as possible. So like uh, Dupe Frog and Poison Draw Frog. Um, you use those, send those to the graveyard so that you can remove them from the graveyard to special summon uh, Ronin Toten. And uh, you use Ronin Toten to exceed into rank twos like Gachi Gachi and stuff like that. So pretty much what you do is you want to open up Swap Frog. If you don't open up Swap Frog, then you can easily get it by either um, either Dupe Frog, by uh, them destroying that and you get it, or I run three Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly is a good card because you can, when it dies by battle, you can either special summon another Mother Grizzly or you can special like this and you get its effect when it's special summoned to send one to the grave. And then you can return it to your hand during your turn. Um, so I run three Mother Grizzly, depending on how many monsters you have. You can have, like, if they attack and do it, special another Mother Grizzly. And then, see, they say that was, they have two monsters, so they attack and do it. The other monster attacks into the second Mother Grizzly, you special summon. And then after that, you can special the Swap Frog. So, pretty much what it is, like I said, you use Swap Frog to try to get as many frogs into the graveyard as possible. Then you remove them from play, the special summon Ronin Toted. So, like, if you have Poison Draw Frog and, uh, let's see, Poison Draw Frog and Dupe Frog in the graveyard, uh, you can, like, remove one for one Ronin Toten and then one, another one for another Ronin Toten. And then you have two Ronin Totens on the field and you exceed into Gachi Gachi. And then because the Ronin Totens, uh, well, you use the cost or whatever it is to, you remove it, special summon it, you have a bunch of uh, frogs removed from play. And then you can tribute Treeborn Frog, which you run two of, or I run two of. You run Treeborn Frog, you can tribute uh, that or whatever else you have that you want to tribute for Sea Lancer. Whoopsies. For Sea Lancer. And then because you have those removed from play frogs, which are actually Aqua Monsters, um, you use his, his effect, Sea Lancer's effect, to use those banished frogs 
and equip them to him. So he goes to 2300 and he has a bunch of times where he doesn't get destroyed. And in addition to that, because of, uh, because of Poison Draw Frog and Dupe Frog's effects, they say when they're sent from the field to the graveyard, doesn't matter where they are on the field, they're equipped. So they're in the Spell and Trap card zone, means they're on the field. When they're sent from the field to the graveyard, they get their effects. So like uh, Poison Draw Frog right here, you draw a card. And uh, Dupe Frog, you can search for a frog monster. So pretty much every time they would destroy Sea Lancer, you can use his effect to negate, which is pretty much like a plus one or like a negation. And in addition to that, you can plus off of these, because when that would be destroyed, you destroy one of these, and you either get to draw or search or whatever else. Um, so it's really good. It gives you a lot of pluses, and it's able to stall a long time. Um, usually, what I when I play this deck, um, when I actually play against a good deck, I usually almost always go into time, because they're pretty much just destroying my frogs. They like I get my frogs. They remove them. I remove them for like uh, gotchi gotchi and stuff. Then I go into Sea Lancer, equip it, and then when Sea Lancer uh, loses all of its equipped monsters, they go to the graveyard. So then you can use them over again for Ronin Totem. It just goes uh, over and over again, over again. And you run three gotchi gotchi. You run I run uh, two Digesto Phoenix, and you can OTK with Digesto Phoenix if you have another big monster like Caius on the field. Caius, and then keep going Ronin Toten into uh, Digesto Phoenix uses effect to attack twice, and then you get two of them, so that's 6,000, and then the other one. And you can OTK with it. Um, another thing, I run Light and Darkness Dragon, I run two of them. I run three Sea Lancer because it's the main card in the deck. And I run two Caius. And then I run this one card that a lot of people probably haven't heard about. If they have, it's cool. Kaiser Glider. It's a 2400 attack, one monster tribute. And its effect is, this card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has the same attack. So it's used good against Dino Rabbit, because you can, uh, they can't crash with Logia. If they do, it, this won't die, just their Logia will. And when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, return one, mo one monster on the field to its owner's hand. So let's say they destroy it, you can return an X seed or a synchro or something like that, and it's a plus. So it's actually really good. Um, that's pretty much how the deck works. Uh, I also run Creature Swap and, let's see, Creature Swap, Salvage, if you want to, you dump the frogs by, to special summon uh, Swap Frog, and then you add them back to your hand to do it more, so you can get as many frogs in the graveyard as possible. Or you can add Sea Lancer because that has 1300 attack. Or you can add Mother Grizzly. So there's a lot of targets for Salvage. I run two of those. As well as, let's see, where is it? I run Enemy Controller, which is also a very good card because you can tribute Treeborn during the damage step. Or, I mean, during the standby phase, my bad. And then you get, can still bring it back because it's still the standby phase. And as well as getting one of their monsters, which you can tribute for a monster, or you can exceed, or do whatever you want to do with it. So that's pretty much the deck. That's how it works. Like I said, the main point is use Swap Frog to get as many frogs in the graveyard. Remove those frogs for Ronin Totems, go into X Seeds and whatnot. And then use those Remove from Play Frogs to equip to Sea Lancer. Plus off of Sea Lancer when you destroy those frogs because they're on the field. They go back to the grave and you can recycle them over and over and over again for more and more X Seeds uh, with uh, Ronin Totem. So that is the main, that's how the deck works. And it has a lot of potential because it has resources. Um, it's easily able to stall and keep on holding its ground because the Sea Lancer are not dying. Uh, you can just destroy a frog every time that's equipped to it. So it lasts a long time. Then you have Light and Darkness Dragon and Negate stuff. You have a lot of things that can, um, a lot of things that can like hold field presence so that when you finally get rid of their monsters, you're able to push for game. So this is a, a very viable deck. Um, I like it a lot. Like I said, it always goes into time because, almost always goes into time, unless you're playing a bad player, uh, because it just has so many resources and they t it takes them so long to get rid of those resources and you just get them back with more and more frogs. So it's a really viable deck. I think it has potential, and that is why I am doing this video segment on decks with potential Lancer Frogs. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. So this video has been a long 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys now know what Lancer Frogs do, how they work, and you can see that they might actually have potential like I do. Well, that's it, YouTube. This is Comfrey for Life. Uh, keeping it real, signing out.